Now coming to this particular question, 28 year old men presented with cuff with a blood tinged sputum. He first noticed a cuff without much sputum approximately two months ago. Okay. In the past several days, the sputum production had increased and become mixed with the blood. Okay, bloody sputum it has become. It has history of loss of appetite. See the various hints. You have just have to mark up them. Okay, various hints. The second point. During this particular period, he also had a low grade evening fever. Third point. Loss of appetite, evening fever, and having mixed with the blood stuff. He had a history of smoking, but no other significant medical history. On physical examination, obviously a thin one, that is typical of a TB1, and frail, his vital signs were normal. He had no lymph endopathy in the neck or axilla. Okay. On the chest examination, decreased breath sounds, they are observed up diffusely. His chest x-ray shows a cavitary lesion in the left upper lobe. There is a cavitary lesion in this particular one on the chest x-ray and that particular individual uh, like examiner wants a diagnosis from you with all these particular hints. So obviously, not much to think in this. This case scenario is confirming diagnosis of TB. And you know, the TB is done by what? Mycobacterium tuberculosis. What you can do? You can go for direct examination by the ZN staining and all of the sputum or by the culture. You can go it and the culture can be done via on the LJ or nowadays automated methods like MGIT that can be done or back tech that can also be done back back t alert back tech liquid culture medias that can also be done and this is important z in staining and the modified z in staining also termed as what kinion staining okay in which you don't heat that is the cold method of staining okay so these all things you need to focus upon in this particular question because uh, the sufficient hints were there loss of appetite uh, that cuff is coming with blood taint sputum that is one of the options okay chest examination there is a decreased breath sound diffusely Chest x-ray shows a cavitary lesion in the left upper lobe. Okay. So, this is also one of the points. And uh, there is a evening fever, evening rise of fever. So, all this, they like go in the favor of what? Tuberculosis. Fine. Now, guys, uh, besides that, uh, you know na, that uh, organism can be grown on the culture media. That is uh, LJ in how much time it comes, 6 to 8 weeks, rough, tough and buff. Those all particular things are there. The drug sensitivity testing also you can do by various methods, but uh, Kirby wire is not done here. And nowadays it is more towards the PCR stuff. They go by the PCR or line probe assays to find out the drug sensitivity and traditional ways are also being used up. The ratio proportion method, absolute concentration method, they all are being used up here like at some of the centers, but nowadays they are focusing more on the molecular ones. Okay. CB naught, you know, CB naught also comes by the name of one gene expert riff in which rifampicin resistance also you can find out. Okay, another question actually that was. So these all things can be associated with this picture. They can show you this particular picture and they can ask up that uh, what is this? So this is ZN staining. Okay, in how much bacilli hyperamyl sputum should be there to be seen on ZN staining? You tell this question first. So answer is more than 10,000 bacilli per ml of sputum should be there to be seen on ZN staining. If it is less than this, you can't see on the ZN staining. It will fail. And if somebody asks you that uh, how much bacilli should be there to be cultured on, so then that is 10 to 100 bacilli per ml of sputum. 10 to 100 bacilli per ml of sputum, that is for the culture. Okay. So this, uh, this is already asked question of UPSC, uh, like uh, medical uh, CMS exam. So again, it can come in your exam also that how much bacilli per ml for the culture, that is 10 to 100, how much to be seen on ZN staining, what is the modified way of ZN staining, that is Kenyon method, okay. So these all things are relations of this particular uh, TB1, mycobacterium tuberculosis. What is this guys? This is LJ media. So they can show up this particular picture and they can ask up that uh, which particular culture media, which type of colonies they come, in how much time they come, so this is traditional way of asking, how does it, uh, this particular one is sterilized? It is inspissated, okay. Most of the culture medias are autoclade, but this is inspissated along with whom? Along with the lawful serum slope, okay.